What's going on everybody? Thank you guys for tuning into the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. So today we're going to take a look at a side hustle that will never keep you broke during the winter. And when I say winter, I'm meaning November, December, January. Now I know technically winter doesn't start until what, December 21st or so, but this side hustle, well, you can start in as early as November and I guarantee you no matter who you are out there, you can make some money off doing it. And I'm going to tell you how. So let's listen to what he has to say. Five to $10,000 per month with a winter side hustle that requires no experience whatsoever. Seriously, this winter side hustle is one that I don't think enough people consider as a viable way to really cash in during the holiday season. So here's where I got the idea. Last month I was talking to one of my neighbors and they let me know that every year they pay a guy $500 to put up and take down their Christmas lights. $250 to put them up, $250 to take them down. And they've been paying them. Now, before you click off, you can start a business. Let's say if you don't have the capabilities of putting these lights up and down, you can outsource the work, right? So... Normally, if you would charge, you know, 250, right? Maybe you could up that price to 300. And then if you're a person that doesn't want to actually put the lights off, you can make $50 off of each time lights go up or come down. Or your business could be scaled to where it is that 250. And maybe you take 50 out of it and a person that's doing it can take 200. Or maybe you take 75 and leave them with 175 so even if you're not the person putting the lights up and down you still can make money off of doing this paying them for like five years as someone who's still pretty young able-bodied and have the time to hang my own christmas lights this isn't really something i ever really considered for myself but not everyone has the time or the ability to do it for themselves it's which true. makes december and january a really hot time to capitalize in and cash in on this winter side hustle idea. So there's two super simple ways you can get started and cash in on this winter side hustle. The first thing you could do is put a listing. Now he said December to January, but we all know people that are excited about the holidays, they have their lights up as early as November. So November um, is when I would start to, to get my advertising out there, maybe even the end of October. Um, even where I am, I've seen Christmas lights up as early as uh, the day after Halloween. So, you know, November is a key month, in my opinion. I wouldn't be waiting to December to start to try to get my business rolling with putting these lights up and down. Listing up on as many platforms as you can. Kijiji, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. It doesn't have to be super complicated. Just let people know that you're willing to install or remove their Christmas lights for a fee. The second thing you can do is lace up your boots and pound the pavement and start knocking on doors, asking people if they'd like you to hang up or remove their Christmas lights. Personally, if I was going to do this and really wanted to take advantage of this, I'd do both. I'd post ads on as many marketplaces or platforms that I could, and I'd also go knocking on doors to really capitalize on the number of houses nice. I get to hire me in a particular holiday season. When it comes to how much you're actually going to charge for this service, I personally think a flat rate method is the best way to go. Either a flat rate based on the number of actual strings of lights you're installing for a person, or a flat rate based on the type and size of the house you're installing the lights on. Based on what I've seen people charging in my area, I think $100 or more per house per installation is probably a pretty good expectation of what you can make if you go and do this. You can even pre-sell them your services. Now, one thing I would like to add too is I would price on the sides of the house in addition to how much lighting they want up. So if it's a smaller house, um, you know, typically it's not going to take you that long, right? So time is money. If it's a bigger house, obviously you may even charge more than 250, right? So if you're in an area where, uh, you know, there's mansions and, you know, really big houses, you probably could charge over a thousand dollars per house. So in my opinion, I feel like it's, it depends on the size of the house. Now, 
I know there are people out there that make well over six figures from November to January doing this, and they have their their businesses scaled to where they're doing an entire neighborhood. Uh, they're doing uh, in neighborhoods where you know there's two million dollar homes, three million dollar homes, and a lot of those houses they're charging them five to ten thousand dollars to put up lights. So this is one of those side hustles that'll never keep you broke. Um, and money that'll last throughout the entire year. So this is a good side hustle. Just to take them down at a discount if they pay you at the time when you install the lights. So how much can you make doing this? Well, if you set a very reasonable goal of 30 houses per season at a rate of $100 per house, that's three grand. Then if those 30 houses pay more. you to install and remove, that's six grand. And honestly, if you really pound the pavement, I think it's really possible to make $10,000 plus Per month if you get out there and take advantage of all the houses that That's are willing true. to hire someone to do this for them so what do you need to do this well you definitely need access to a ladder whether if you have one yourself great if you don't you can rent one for a couple bucks per day and even beyond that if you don't want to rent or you don't have one you can choose to work with houses and offer them a discount if they allow you to use their own ladder and equipment Anyways, this is a bit of a different side hustle, a little bit different than the normal freelance stuff I do on this channel, but I think it's such a good opportunity that it I is. could not bring it up and let you know about it. So let me know in the comment section if this is something that people do in your area. So yeah, that that that's it, man. I mean, this idea, even when I was growing up, I would see uh, teenagers making money doing this. I would see families doing this together. Um, and a lot of families would make enough money to where, you know, it was paying their mortgage their or their rent, their light bill, their uh, gas, water. It was covering all their bills uh, and, it, and, it, and it, it enabled them to save even more, uh, you know, during the holidays. Now, for me, I know when I was growing up, my dad always wanted to have a certain amount of money in the bank um, following, you know, the holidays because he didn't want this to be, uh, a negative time to, uh, start the new year broke. So if you're looking to equalize that, this side hustle, uh, is definitely it. Uh, if you, you've got teenagers in your house that are hungry to make some money, you know, this is a great way to get their college funds started or, if they want a new car that they want to buy, this is, I mean, by the end of the season, they can buy a car cash if they did this. So this is what I got for you guys. Um, again, even if you don't want to do the physical labor, like I said, you can outsource it and make a percentage off of each sale that way. And it's a lucrative way to make passive uh, income if you're a person that's going to outsource this uh, this business, okay? Well, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully, it's something, you know, one of you, one of you can use out there. Till next time, signing out, guys. Peace.